From playing music in the background, to removing telemetry, to unlinking your Facebook or Oculus account, there is an app for your Quest that I would classify as probably the most powerful app ever that you could install. Now, there's a disclaimer on that removing accounts as it doesn't work on the latest version. This app is Oculus, and no, not Oculus Oculus, it's Ocu. Alas, it's an app created by Basti, and we actually took a look at this app a while ago. However, after a multiple updates by Meta, this app actually stopped working. But that doesn't mean that Basti and others stopped working on the app. No, it's gone through multiple updates, and apparently it's working again. So today, I'm going to show you how to install possibly the most powerful application for you to take back control of your quest. I'm Mystical, and let's jump right in. Also, if you thought this was distracting, check this out. I'm, I'm gonna turn it off, don't worry. Now we turn on Beat Saber mode. So, the application was originally created to stop Meta's telemetry, essentially meaning to stop Facebook from spying on you. However, it, it was later on expanded to allow you to use background audio playback, which is of course a feature that isn't available on Meta's devices unless you have the Quest Pro, and it will hopefully also be available on the Quest 3. However, in case it isn't, you should be able to use this app in order to get it, as this app essentially just works on all of Meta's devices, meaning you can use it on the Quest 2, Quest Pro, and I think Quest 1 as well, which also means you should be able to use it on the Quest 3. Now, as with all of these projects, you will require developer mode enabled, as we are installing an external APK, meaning that you will need a method of installing APKs. Whether this is an Android phone running Bug Jaeger, which I have a video on right up here, or if you already have a file explorer or some means of installing APKs on your device, which I also have a video on right up here. However, I'm going to show you this with the easiest possible method as not everyone has a file explorer on their quest. I think the one most people are going to be interested in is going to be the background audio playback, which should hopefully allow you to run things like Spotify in the background and listen to music on your quest without having to use Meta's browser. And yes, of course, we will be trying Discord. So let's jump right in. And I do need to mention, this procedure includes removing all of your accounts. This is permanent, and by that I mean you can get it back only after a factory reset. That, and also I've found that these accounts tend to come back themselves after a couple of restarts, including the meta account. As if you can't get the meta account back, if you can't restore it, some features might be unavailable depending on your system software version. But proceed with caution and at your own risk. First of all, you will need to download the latest Oculus APK. At the time of recording, it's 1.5.0, and the link will of course be down below. So to download it, you just press on the .apk file right here on GitHub. Yes, this is all open source, and then that will download the file. Now that you have the file downloaded, you will need to install it somehow. We are going to do it through SideQuest. So with SideQuest on, we're gonna grab the Quest, turn it on, and plug it into the computer. Now with the Quest plugged into the computer, it will show up in the top left of SideQuest. In case it doesn't, you may need to accept a prompt inside the headset. Then in the top right here, we're going to click install APK, find the APK file that we just downloaded, double click on it, and this will install it through SideQuest. Okay, now that we have the Oculus application installed on our Quest, we can put on the headset and head over to unknown sources. So heading over to unknown sources, you want to go to all apps, press on search apps, go to all, and then head over to unknown. Here you will find the Oculus application. So if I just click on that, and here you have all the options that you can work with. And to enable the rest, you will need to enable device ownership. The first thing you will want to do once you're in Oculus is disable Oculus companion server. Press OK here, find the companion server, and turn it off. Now the button is hidden, it's down here, so if you press here, this will log you out of Oculus, press OK, boom, now you're logged out. Now what you will want to do is you will want to remove slash check accounts. So pressing on this, press OK, and this is that permanent part. So you're going to want to remove every single one of these accounts. I'm not gonna do this as I've already done it. And as you can see, they have come back. Then what you will want to do is pressing on the bottom button right here is add Oculus as the device owner. And this can be achieved in one of two ways, either by using the wireless ADB option that I talked about in this video right on the headset itself, or the easier method by using ADB 
through side quest and a custom command. You can find that command down in the description below. And all you do is you go into the top right of side quest with your headset connected, press on custom command and paste the command in. Then press enter and this should activate Oculus as the device owner. From here on out, you will be able to enable background audio playback and enable or disable telemetry depending on what you want to do. Background audio playback will need to be relaunched every time you restart the headset. Essentially, you're just going to need to disable the Oculus companion service every time you restart, just like the app told you the first time. But nothing will have to be done on the computer. So anytime you restart your headset, you just launch the Oculus app once and relaunch background audio playback. No need to run any commands on your computer or anything like that. After you do this once, the app runs entirely standalone. So let's test it out. So we've got Spotify running right now. I hope you can hear it. And let's try launch a game. Yep, I'm in Bone Lab right now, as you can see, and the music is still playing. Now, the unfortunate thing is, I don't actually think we can change the song <laughs> while in the game. Okay, okay. So, so you can hear me, hear me coming out twice. We now have Discord running on the quest. So I'm gonna launch Bold Map. Hello, 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 hello. Oh. Okay, that seems to have closed. Yeah. So Discord is unfortunately a no-go. It seems that Discord will be closed. However, you can still hear other people, but it won't work the other way. So you can hear me talking through here, but when I mute myself on the PC, you can't hear me talking through the quest. So if I unmute myself, you can still hear me here, but you can't hear me over there. So Discord half works. Well, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You are all absolutely incredible, and I hope you'll have a fantastic rest of your day or night. As I said in the past, I really enjoy making these videos that allow you to take back your device. I am a huge believer in the fact that when you buy a device, you own it, and it shouldn't be that the company can lock things out or stop you from doing something. Yes, I know that's the way most companies do it nowadays. However, I am highly against that. So if there is a way of getting something done, I'm going to be showing it to you. I have a lot of these larger projects coming, including repasting the quest and trying to get better results on it. Yes, I know people have done this before, but I think I might have a different method of doing things. However, unfortunately, right now, the new studio is flooded. Yes, I didn't even manage to move in and the place flooded. That is not an over-exaggeration. The piping was done incorrectly and we essentially found out too late. There is multiple machines running behind you guys right now, sucking the water out of the place. I am currently in the only room that supposedly I've been told isn't wet, and I am slowly starting to set the place up. Thank you so, so much to all the amazing patrons supporting this channel. You guys are absolutely incredible and amazing, and you're helping me get through this. So thank you so, so much. And thank you so much to anybody else that is supporting the channel in any way. That includes anyone that is liking, subscribing, watching these videos. You guys are all incredible. So thank you so, so much. If you guys want to join the community, check out our Discord and I write it down below. I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And as usual, if you guys want me to find a bunch of content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.